Another type of attack we can do is a password spray attack. So this difference from a regular password attack. So instead of uh, looking for one, we try it on. We can try it on different services or for different usernames all at once. So for example, we know one password and we try that password for all of the possible usernames in our list. So the idea is to find users that use weak passwords. So first thing we need to do is to have a list of usernames. Now you can find those online or you can create one yourself. So let's say we create one ourselves, and we type some usernames. whatever username so you can find username lists online and let's save it and next what we can do try to do is to do a password spray attack so the idea is to use the password for all of the users for multiple users in that list automatically try the passwords so we use hydra again and now use a capital L. So when you specify capital L, you can specify the usernames list. You can either specify one password, for example, minus P, let's say just password, then the target and the protocol. Let's see what the target was. So 8.232, and then the protocol, for example, FTP. And what this is doing in the background is trying all of the usernames for that specific password password to log in on this computer. Now let's add some flags to make that visible. So it's add minus U minus capital V. And you'll see it's trying all of the usernames, the password password. So minus U minus capital V. And you'll see all of the attempts so for the usernames it tries the password password or perhaps you, maybe a default password could be admin so it tries for all of those users the default passwords and you'll see none of it has been found so instead of just a single password you can also spray both the usernames and the password so if you do capital P you can specify a password list for example rockutxt and you'll see it tries to then Crack the for those usernames. Try to try all of the possible passwords on that 14 million password list. So if you press enter, you'll see it's trying all of those passwords. Now, of course, this can take quite a while because it's trying all of the passwords in the million password list for all of those users. Now, and this will create a lot of terminal output as well. So what you could do is remove the minus V flag. And then uh, your terminal doesn't get loaded with all of the attempt data. Now, of course, this can take a while because it's now trying the 14 million password list for all of the users in the file. So for it's trying the 40 million passwords in Rockutxt for all of these usernames. And in general, with the password spray attacks, it's trying a short list of commonly used passwords on a very large list of usernames because if you have a very large list of usernames and a very large list of passwords obviously it's going to take a long time and the idea is just to find weak passwords so common and weak passwords for users so users who like the low hanging fruit that use weak passwords on their accounts now of course you can target all kind of protocols so Let's say use the password Samantha and try it for all of the usernames. Now this can take a moment. And in this case, we are targeting the FTP protocol and you'll see we found the user Ubuntu uses the password Samantha and none of the others. So you can target also a specific weak passwords using a lowercase p and using a username list, you can use commonly used and weak passwords and try to find out if any possible user uses a weak password. 
Now, of course, you can also try with different protocols that might be used on the machine. So in this case, it's using the file transfer protocol. But of course, and many different protocols exist like file sharing. Also have Samba or SMB, often used in Windows file sharing. You have RDP for, or RDP for remote desktop protocol to remotely control computers. So you can all do all kinds of different attacks.